Welcome back, everybody. Well, if there's one city that knows how to celebrate 4th of July, it's Saratoga. And it's just not one day. It's like three days. We're about to prove this big time. So joining me today is Kate Jarosh, who's the president of the board of Saratoga's All-American Celebration. So welcome, Kate. Thank you. Great to have you here. Kate and I have a mutual friend in Sunny. <laughs> we love Sunny. <laughs> we love Sunny. Hi, Sunny. Hey, um, Saratoga's All American Celebration. Uh, I, that was a pretty big statement I made at the beginning. This it, is a multiple day celebration for 4th of July, right? It is. And even ABC News named us one of the top 10 small town July 4th celebrations in America. So we have big shoes, big title, and a big day, big days planned coming up this year. Well, I tell you what, without sort of running through the, through the list, but let's, let's highlight it. Uh, it starts on July 2nd, right? It does. And uh, give me a sense of what's going on July 2nd. On July 2nd, the Saratoga Springs History Museum is bringing General Burgoyne back from the dead. Um, he will be <laughs> speaking about the Battle of Hubberton. See, I told you, <laughs> I, I told you it was big time. So you're bringing him back from the dead. You know, that's, that, yeah, okay. <laughs> and he's going to be giving a talk on what? The Battle of Hubberton. Great. So again, Revolutionary War history, giving a nod to the depth of our history in this area. Mm -hmm. And of course, very historic area to start mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. And as you tell, as you'll be able to tell over the course of the next couple of days, we're bringing a few people back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Ben Franklin shows up on July uh -huh. 3rd for the uh -huh. kids. Um, so definitely bring the kids down to the Children's Museum on the 3rd to uh, meet Ben. You know what, Katie? I love the fact that you do something for the kids. And July 3rd, which is a Friday, mm -hmm. right? Um, there are a lot of activities for the kids, some in conjunction with Michelle and the Children's Museum, Yes, right? the Children's Museum program is at noon on the 3rd, starting okay. at the Children's Museum, mm -hmm. uh, again with Ben Franklin. Mm -hmm. um, and General Burgoyne will be making a, an appearance at the Holiday Inn for kids, uh, including s'mores uh, for mm -hmm. a fireside chat in the evening. Uh, does General Burgoyne and Ben Franklin, they get along? I don't Are they friends? We've you know? never put them together. They walk on opposite <laughs> sides of Broadway when they march in the parade. <laughs> they do. Maybe they they're do. not on speaking terms. Probably not. <laughs> uh, there's a parade involved with the kids on July 3rd, right? Yes. Okay. Marching from the Children's Museum to Congress Park where they will be playing historic games and having a snack. Oh, you know what? It takes a lot to organize this. <laughs> I mean, hats off to you. This is, this, this is big stuff. Um, and I love the fact that the kids are involved. So when they're in the park, what kind of th activities are there for them in the park? On the 3rd, the Children's Museum is bringing games. Right. Games, um, okay. On the 4th, the History Museum has their family day in the park, okay. which will include face painting, carousel rides, uh, historic games, mm -hmm. uh, different things for the kids, reenactors, mm -hmm. so they can meet a lot of folks that they would not ordinarily run into. Right, uh, so to speak, <laughs> that uh, they've heard about and, you know, learned about. Uh, by the way, the History Museum, you know, you always hear about the National Museum of Dance and the Auto Museum and whatever, mm -hmm. but the History Museum is located on the second floor of the Canfield Casino. It is. And it's really worth a trip upstairs to take a look at what's going mm -hmm. on at the museum. Um, that's just wonderful, and activities th all throughout the park. Yep. And then, of course, a big hoopla on the, <laughs> on the fourth itself, uh, again, parades and all kinds <laughs> of things, right? Give us a rundown. It starts with the firecracker, right? It does start with the firecracker. Okay. Rolls on into the All-American Parade, marching down Broadway. Mm -hmm. And then we go on into the um, All-American Barbecue and Dessert Tasting Festival mm -hmm. throughout downtown. Uh, this year, all of the out-of-downtown businesses who are competing are in the finger paint lot. That's a big change for us. Right, Finger Paint being the company that anchors the corner of um, Broadway and uh, a division. division. Mm -hmm. And right behind that building is a huge parking lot mm -hmm. that they are very generously making available yes. to you for the businesses off Broadway mm -hmm. who want to participate in these different various cook-offs and, yep. and, and whatnot. Uh, now the parade itself, big parade. Big parade. Right, everybody's <laughs> participating, floats, a yep. marching band. And <laughs> down to the dogs. <laughs> down to the dogs. Oh yeah, tell us about the dogs. I the forgot. Patriotic Pooch Parade is part of our July 4th parade uh, celebration. And we have had 50, 60 dogs marching down Broadway along with the marching band, elected officials, uh, civic organizations, fire trucks, floats, you name it. Kate, you think you got enough going on in this, <laughs> <laughs> this All-American celebration? Uh, obviously, it can't be a 4th of July celebration without fireworks. Uh, important distinction this year, right? Yes. Instead of having people come to the park, which you're used to doing, to watch, watching the fireworks, they, uh, what is that, the Fila Street parking? Spring Street Spring Surface Street. Lot. 
Yep, so instead of heading to the park to right. spread out your blanket and uh, listen to the audio stars before the fireworks go off, right. we are doing a party in the parking lot this year uh, in the Spring Street surface lot starting at 6.30, again, with the audio stars, and that is the best place to watch fireworks. So instead of going to the park, we're going to the parking lot this year. Right, that parking lot, by the way, is on the north side, right mm -hmm. across from the carousel. Yes. So, and the fireworks are going off on the opposite Behind side of the, the carousel, carousel, safety reasons and whatever. But uh, quick shout out to the audio stars. Quick shout out to the audio stars. They are going to be rocking that parking lot right up to the fireworks go off. Uh, Kate, I can't believe this. So <laughs> I'm just going to cycle back. We have three days of celebrations, the second, the third, and the fourth. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a, a, a race, the Firecracker 4, which is a four-mile four race, yes. right? <laughs> kind of sandwiched between a 5K and a 10K. Uh, we've got the audio stars at night uh, at the parking lot for the fireworks the day before on the third. Mm -hmm. A lot of children's activities. Mm -hmm. uh, boy, hats off to you. What a celebration. There's a lot and there's even more than that. So the website is really where folks need to go. Good. Uh, what's the website? Website is www.saratogajuly, the number 4th.com. So saratogajuly4th.com. Good. And Kate, we'll have all this information Excellent. on our website as well. Okay. So. All right, well, I know you've carved out a few minutes because obviously you've got a few details to take <laughs> care of before the fourth actually hits. Thank you very much for coming in and, uh, and filling us in. And uh, best of luck with the All-American Celebration. There's nothing like it, I'll tell you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Hope for good weather. <laughs> yeah, great. You know, I know some doesn't even make any difference. <laughs> Thanks, Katie. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.